All right guys, welcome back to another video. I made a video a while back of how to film car videos on a budget, but on this video, we're not gonna focus on those tips and tricks. If you guys want to take a look, I'll have a link for that in the description below. But right now, we're just gonna be focusing on how I get the quality that I get. I discovered like a little bit of a recipe to get a little bit more details out of the cars when you're filming the videos. So I thought I'd take you guys along while I filmed the car. And then we're really gonna focus on how I get that, uh, quality if you guys want to skip ahead please feel free but if you guys want to hang out we're going to go ahead and film some shots on the car if you have any questions drop a comment below but yeah let's get into it my favorite shots are going to be the wheel shots with the bouquet in the background i'm using a sigma lens a it's actually made for the mirror cameras for the mirror tony's apsc or whatever it's called um i got it for like 80 bucks and it's kind of it looks like a 50 millimeter but this one gets to 1.4 which I really enjoy because of the amount of bokeh that's in the background. And it's just an overall really good quality lens. Let's get a few different shots. We're not making a whole car video. If you guys are wondering, I am using a polarizer. And I think I forgot to adjust it. Yeah, I did. We're gonna go back and aim up as we lean down. Smooth. One of my favorite shots is to start from like up here and then go to the left. And as I'm going down, I'm aiming up again, keeping the car in focus. A light shot. Let's do it. Just get a bunch of random small shots because you're going to need fillers. It's better to have more clips than not enough. I've learned that way too many times. Even if you're filming the, the cap or a sticker or something, just have something to fill it in. We're going to bring this one back. I hope you guys can see everything I'm doing. I got this handle on eBay, it was like 15 bucks. If you guys want it, drop a link. I keep it sideways. It kind of helps when you're getting down to those low angles and you don't want to like lean. I have a stabilizer and everything at home, but just been. Gosh. It's a nice day out. Ah, Florida, it's a love-hate relationship. I think that's going to be it. Um, <laughs> I was actually a lot faster than I thought it'd be. All right, what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and drive home. And we are going to edit the clips now, show you guys what I do. If you guys haven't skipped ahead already. Ooh, it is hot. One of my favorite things to do. But hopefully you guys can see it. I love airing it up from outside. I don't know why it does that, but it settles. Fitment's looking good. What do you guys think? Should I make a video of it with the with the ride height fitment? Still feel like it's too low. Oh man, I love it. Oh right, yeah, let me take some photos. I am obsessed with my car, man, if you guys can't tell already. As long as I love it. If you guys hate it, I'm sorry. But I still, I still like it. All right guys, so we're in the second part of the video. Um, what we're gonna be doing now is grabbing the clips that we just recorded. We're gonna drag them into Premiere Pro. I'm not sure what other programs you can use that may have these same features. Once you got everything loaded into your computer, let's go ahead and drag in the first clip. What clip do I wanna use? Let's see, oh, let's do the booty. We'll do the booty first. Go ahead and drag it in, let's see how that looks. All right. Looks pretty good. 
pretty good. I always like to cut it out a little bit because it's usually a little shaky. Looks like it starts off pretty nice. And we'll do the magic little touches. We're going to put warp stabilizer in there. Um, for these clips, I do like to go ahead and um, click advance, do a detailed analysis. It always comes out a little bit better. I don't really mess with the settings too much unless it uh, comes out pretty bad. Let's go ahead and see how that looks now. Ready? Alright, looks good. It's good enough. Alright, so the quality in my opinion still looks pretty good the way it is. But just to get a little bit more quality, you want to go over here to new item. We're going to put an adjustment layer down. And drag it above here. Alright. This is where the important part happens. So we're gonna do sharp. We're gonna take the sharpen mask, we're gonna drag it on top, and the unsharp mask, we're gonna drag it on top here too. And now for the sharpen, we're gonna do 20. Enter. Alright, that looks pretty good so far. We'll keep the amount at 50 again. You guys can change these settings to whatever you like. Really depends on what you want to look to be. I go to 50 and then I work my way down so that looks <laughs> kind of over the top right but uh, we'll go ahead and drag that down a little bit right so then from here let's go ahead and see it's like all the fuzziness but then the quality gets better let's see how that looks when we play it back Looks pretty good, but still, we're gonna lower that down a little bit. I don't like how how much detail is there. Okay, that's a little bit better. See, it's so fuzzy. I mean, some people like that look. I mean, it's not a bad look you know, either way. But this one just kind of makes the the edges, the details come out. Then from here, you can obviously like sometimes, you know, to be honest, I don't really like doing a whole bunch of color grading. I'll just Let's make the saturation come up a little bit, like add a little bit more color. For me, that's that's enough. It just looks nice and crispy. So that's honestly all you need to do. I don't, I didn't make this up, by the way. Um, I'm not sure if there's other videos that show this, like for cars, but I did find this because I was making like little edits, like anime edits, right? And somebody uploaded a way to get like to have the details pop a little bit more on the anime edits and um, they did mention to sharpen on sharpen mask I thought to myself I wonder how this would look if we put it on car videos and I mean it looks pretty good it really works well when you do um, I'll drop some clips here like Instagram edits for your reels or uh, like those vertical edits like it makes it look really 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 crispy so it is good for those um, but yeah, I uh, hope this helped you guys out, getting a little bit more quality out of your video clips if you want a little bit more detailed look. Let me know what you guys think of it, if it helps you guys out, and let me know if the program you're using, if you're not using Premiere, if it has the same options like Sharpen and Unsharpen Mask. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please drop a comment below. Alright guys, see you next time.